satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. What's your Upasana? Yeah, so meditation is definitely a part of it. Meditation has taken um, me to places, like I said, where words are in this, you know not sufficient for me to describe. And the one thing that has aided really well in meditation is tools that I use for meditation. Name, mainly, I meditate with my eyes closed. There are open eye meditation. So it depends on whether you are too associated with the physical or too associated with the environment. If you are too much into your physical and you are you are even able to hear your heartbeats and as soon as you close your eyes, you start to get frightened and sweaty, just open your eyes and meditate. Meditate is yoga. Yoga is all about chitta vritta nirodha. That's the first sentence of Patanjali who wrote the Yoga Sutra, right? Patanjali, we know it as a brand today, but Patanjali is a rishi who wrote the Yoga Sutra out of which yoga and meditation stems out of, right? The first sentence that he wrote, which we forget is, Yoga's Chitta Vritta Nirodha. Chitta means the mind late. If it starts to, you know, wonder, that is not yoga. So if you're able to keep your you know, mind lake, chitta still, then you're in a meditative state, right? How do you keep that? First, you need to practice. Second, you need tools. You definitely need tools. And the tool that has been recommended, not by me or my family, but by the Shiva Purana and all these scriptures is the Rudraksha, which is the tool that helps you not only get to that state, but remain in that state, right? Because the energies that you will get that you will come across in the uncharted territory, you might or might not be ready for. Therefore, you use certain tools. Secondly, the upasana that I do is also a mantra upasana. Mantra is extremely strong. The only person who is able to describe the strength of mantra is a person who has chanted mantra themselves. There are certain mantras you chant out loud. There are certain mantras you chant within. There are certain pranayamas that you do by chanting, inhaling, and exhaling. You are, while you mantra, let me go deeper. What is mantra? What does the mantra sentence mean? There is a lot of meaning that you can find just by knowing what the word means. Mantra is the sound of man. What is your inner voice? English, inner voice. So when I'm saying mantra, I'm just saying inner voice. There are people who come to me, say, I do 10 Gayatri mantras in the morning. All day I have negative thoughts. All day. So they're doing negative thought mantras throughout the day mm -hmm. and trying to purify those by 10 Gayatri mantras. That is not mantra. Mantra is when, even while I'm talking to you, Om Namah Shivaya plays in, my, in the within. That is mantra. And that is the mantra sadhana I do. I don't, I don't sit down and I don't have to do like 10 hours of you know, mantra sadhana if I'm able to breathe in and breathe out my mantras. If it's in your breath. It's in your breath. And I'm not saying I'm an enlightened soul in any way, but that is what has worked for me because I live in a material world. I live in a material world. I have obligations. And I realize that the things that I need to do, I should be able to do it in my deathbed too. It should be sustainable. So I only choose practices that I know I can do it until the day I die. Let, let's just put that as a measurement, right? Okay. Can I do mantra, 10,000 mantra a day until the day I die? I highly doubt it. Sorry, me, I highly doubt it. There are probably people who can do it. Mantra, that is the thing. Second, tantra. Tantra is all about controlling your senses, right? Not, you know, speaking when whatever is in your mind. That is also a tantra practice, process, management of the process of your emotion coming to your mouth, controlling it at not saying. That's the basic tantra practice I do. Yantra, I wear Rudraksh. I look at the astrological chart. I look at what, what are the planets in play. I don't assume my ego to be too big that, oh, I don't need anything. I assume myself to surrender and take what resources are available to me. And use Rudraksha as my Yantrik support. So my Upasana is really a practical one. What I do in the morning is I worship the deities, the Panchayans. Panchayans are the five deities that a person is recommended to worship. The Panchayans are Shiva, Vishnu, Devi, Surya, Ganesh. These are the five deities everyone should worship, right? The Panchayans. After the Panchayan worship, I go about the day. 
I go about the day and in my mind, I'm doing the mantras. While I drive, if I listen to the Anuman Chalisa, that's the mantra sadhana for me because it is practical for me in the day I am born. Maybe there's a reason I'm born today, but that is what is practical for me. I can't go to Hanuman temple every single day to do this sadhana. Me personally, the life I live. That does not give me an excuse to avoid Hanuman Chalisa altogether. That requires me to be creative about my sadhanas. So what I have seen as a pattern is, oh my God, sadhana is so tough. I'll do it later when I'm 40. Mm. By the time you're 40, you've already forgotten that God exists. You're only fearfully awakened. You are not spiritually awakened. Right now is when, when you are young is when you can achieve the Brahma that you are searching for. But be creative about it. If you can't do 10 Hanuman Chalices in a day, you know, I've seen people recommend 100 Hanuman Chalices in a day. And the person sitting next door is so frightened that, oh my God, I can't do this. Jai Sri Ram, I'm out of here. No, if one is practical for you, do it. If not, just say, Om Jai Hanuman. Okay, let's start. Where can we start? I think that should be the upasana that all the people do. At least that is the upasana I do. I do practical upasana. What I've truly come to believe based on my subjective reality, and you can totally uh, disagree with this if you think differently. But what I truly believe now is that the greatest temple one will ever visit is the temple that one builds within their own heart. Correct. Like it's the same thing as saying the only Zen you find on top of mountains is the Zen you take there. Mm -hmm. Everyone escapes to the Himalayas to mm -hmm. find God. God can be built inside you. Yeah. It's present inside you. It can be nurtured and grown. If you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip.